Hello, Bumpy Mix Squiggums here, and it's time once again for some more Xenonauts, and it looks like this will be a night mission with rookies, which we all know is never a good idea with me involved, so we're going to avoid that if at all possible, and it looks like it is possible. We are going to select a new target and send it in. In the meantime, hopefully we can make it to that, and in the... Oh, we did not. And let's see here. Are they going to be able to launch again? Maybe. Maybe they will. I was hoping I'd get there quick enough. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know that... You know what? We're going to go with Sean and Peanut Butter and hope that they can make the launch in time. And... That figures. That's about right. That is about right. We're gonna send our squadron back to base. Put the there. Things are not working. There we go. All right. Let's send them all back in. And apparently, we get to do a night mission with the veteran squad first, followed by the rookie squad doing a regular day mission. So we'll see. But again, we have some veterans now on the rookie force, so it might work out. It is possible. All right. It is indeed a night mission. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. And we're going to, well, let's do what we normally do and peep the side, see what's over here. And a lob a couple of these. I wish we got like uh, flare nukes where it would blow up like a gigantic area and give me vision. I think that would be pretty sweet. It's like a boom and like radioactive dust settles or something. I don't know. They're in jumpsuits. Maybe they have better helmets and they don't have to breathe in the dust. It'll be fine. But these regular flares just not doing it for me. They are not doing it for me at all. All right. Well, Prep to Survive is the lowest member of the Totem Pole Society. I've got nothing. He's, he's the weakest link right now, but that's okay. He gets to do the close-to-ship scouting, and that is always a good thing. We will drop this, and we will put that there, which is wonderful. And he cannot take a knee, but that's okay. I'm going to move Redith in. We're going to drop her shield as well. Down it goes, and bam. And we're going to lob some stuff with her as well. And it seems I haven't sneezed all day, and now all of a sudden I feel like I really, really need to sneeze. I'll tell you, it's just the curse of recording. As soon as you start recording, your body goes, mm -mm, nope, not wanting to work, not going to do it, there's no way. And it's really unpleasant, it really is. Alright, well I don't know what I'm up against, but this is a landed vessel once again, so... Let's hope that everything pans out okay. And... Nothing. Alright, so we're seeing a whole lot of nothing right now. Which kind of sucks. It's not the end of the world. I mean... Obviously you want to see more than nothing when you're fighting aliens, but... I suppose it's not the worst thing that could possibly happen. Take a knee. Can I lob another? Can I lob another? I can. Sweet. And I shall. Hi -ya. And we found a dilapidated tank. Oh gosh. Sorry. I bumped my mouse wheel. Awkward. Well, I suppose I'll go this way with with him. And I guess I'll get with him as well. So we're not going to have a shield unit in this particular area. Which I guess isn't terrible. Hi ya. I guess I did something. I don't see anything, but that doesn't necessarily mean it didn't do anything either. We have a 0% chance to hit. Because we're amazing. There we go. Vision all around. Alright, let's end the turn and see what happens next. Aha, there's an alien in the, like, one little dark spot I did not cover. That's about right. Okay, so we're going to move Scooney U-Turn Singleton up here, and he's going to look over there. And we are going to see our attacker. 
We're going to give ourselves a little bit better vision of said attacker. He does appear to be alone. He's not with a date, so that's good. My left eyeball is now bothering me. See, I told you. Anytime you start to do something, when it comes to YouTube or recording, it's just like immediately your body's like, no! My left eye is itching profusely right now. <laughs> Having an itchy eye, not as much fun as you might think. It really isn't. I'm blinking a lot, so... Kinda, I'm kind of getting myself all um, epilepsied out here. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. So down he goes. Let's toss this over and... No vision. No vision whatsoever. Alright, well, that happened. We're going to slowly go this direction. I don't like this area right here. This is, uh... This seems highly dangerous to me. See, so I think something just tried to crawl out of my throat there. I was like, <laughs> highly dangerous. It was, uh, wasn't intentional. It wasn't like the Nicole Hernandez. That was totally just... <laughs> which, of course, we know means something to somebody somewhere. Don't know what. And as far as these squad members and the new people, I've actually gotten quite a few requests lately. Uh, I do have a list, and I will add people as I can, hopefully in at least close to the order that I received it, so there's a pretty good chance at this point I'm not going to be able to get everyone in until things start to go horribly, horribly wrong for me, and that is a very real and present possibility, so keep that in mind. But as it stands right now, that is not the case. Alright, so everyone's moved except the one guy that we always forget, and he's way back here, or she... Prep to survive! A real American hero or something? No, probably not. Alright, there we go. Oh no! Wow, that actually hit me. That's, that's kind of impressive. And there was an Andron right there too. Oh, not, yeah, yeah. So unless I'm seeing things, I was pretty certain I saw the Andron. Yeah, what? You ain't got nothing. You're up against Redith. Do you know what Redith does to things like you? Hopefully misses. Oh, four damage. That's what Redith does to things like you. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Eh? 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 Oh, I can jump at the wall. Sweet! And... Flowey. And can I get a... Oh, I was hoping I can get a shot on him. Hmm. Well, let's go here. And make an enticing and delicious target for him. Wonder what I can do. Uh, we'll do the whole look away from the alien and they can't see us, or we can't see them, they can't see us type situation. It's it's sweet, sweet, nice. Here we go, and boom! Not enough. That's depressing. I was hoping. I had high hopes there, and I I'm not gonna burst into um. Is it Snow White? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I hope. I hope. No, we're not gonna do that. I promised. I promised I wasn't going to do it. I still did it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Well, it says I have a chance of doing that. No idea how. Apparently they have no rules on this uh, particular building. I don't think I hate that, but it is a bit odd. I will give you that. And down it goes. Sweet. You know what else this building doesn't have? No, I'm not going to want to. I'm just going to blow a hole in the side of the building. It doesn't have any walls. Yeah, what? Without walls? You thought that was a doctor's thing. Nope. It is a Xenonauts thing. Back from 1979, baby. Hey, we found the massively large... That seems really big. Hmm. Doesn't that seem bigger than normal? Maybe, maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I feel a little bit blah today. I, I've like passed out this afternoon. The construction is finally done, so I should not have any more problems, issues, or delays. Though, I don't know what all I'm going to have finished today. I'm pretty much at the end of my recording time right now. So, this is going to be the last thing I record. I'm not super happy with how my weekly runs thing finished today. So, I might redo that. And if I do redo that, I won't post it. If I don't redo it, I will repost it. I guess that kind of makes sense, but it's, it's weird. It's a little weird. Alright, we'll take a knee, everybody's moved, we're all out of TUs, and... Oh, wow, he actually did a little baby damage to me. Like two little baby heads. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Because... 
we can actually heal up most of the damage that it's done to us. And we can apparently heal trees, too. You didn't know that. Little known fact about Xenonauts. Very big on nature conservation. I know. I'm surprised, too. Boom. Alright, down he goes. So, his little volleys at me. Didn't do a whole lot. Alright, let's see if we can find the alien annoyance that was lobbing stuff at us. And do we get vision? We get a lot of vision, but not what we need. Hmm. Alright, well, as much as I would like to go over there and play, I want to kind of see what's ever here. Alright, well, let's do one of these. Oh, we don't have enough to use for that. Well, that is awkward. Alright, I think I'm going to take a knee there. I'm going to move over here. This might be a mistake. Might not. Maybe I'll go here. If he, like, walks in, I should be able to own him in the face. Or maybe next to the face. Maybe don't not go into the face this time. It seems a bit rude of me. I mean, always going into people's faces. You know, there's personal space for a reason. And I always seem to be invading that. Um, I don't know. Let's see how this does. We'll have to see it next turn, specifically, but it's okay. Can you crouch? You can. Good job, Pete Holmes. Take a knee, and let's see if she can take him out. 95% and a miss. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Not great. It's okay, though. And we can do some burst fiery action, so let's do that as well. Missed everything. And, oh, I don't know. Goodbye. Worth it. Gotta have the atomic potato doing something useful. I mean, he does have a rocket launcher. Rocket launchers are fun to play with, so. It's just one of those things, I guess. Okay, so we end our turn, see what happens. The torpedo, the torpedo, the grenade exploded afterward. That guy said, nope. He's just immediately up and left. That's fine. Should have the TUs I need with. Mutana to take him down. Oh, hmm. Let's see if we can just get out of the way. And one step closer, and bam. He may have resisted that, but it wasn't enough. Alright, well, so far so good. I think we've explored almost the entire... Wow, this actually goes quite a bit... Well, maybe not that much further. Maybe that is the edge of the map, but quite a bit more than I thought it had. Like, I thought we had cleared almost all of it, and that was not the case. Alright, so things are looking pretty interesting at this point. We are murdering things, things are dying, things are no longer alive. It's all kind of the same phrase, in case you guys were wondering. But, yeah, overall, not too bad. We have a shieldy person over here who's going to take up a wonderful position, ready to breach in a couple turns. Hopefully by then the rest of our crew will at least start heading this direction. We'll see. We shall see. Can I get myself up into position as well? You do have some movement left after that. Potato? Good job, buddy. Alright, we're going to end our turn and see what happens. And it looks like a whole lot of nothing. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, that's one of these. Always fun. Always rich. Always compelling. Alright, you don't get to go inside ships. I've learned my lesson from watching what the Rocketeers do outside of ships to know that I don't ever want them to go into a ship. So let's just keep that in mind, shall we? Alright, pretty sure there's nothing in that general direction. But there could be. I mean, I'm just assuming there's not. Nothing there. Let's take a final little look down here. Nope. Okay. And... Eh, it's not too bad. And we'll just kind of sweep the whole area with Redith and Mutanot. In fact, Mutanot's probably going to head back. We'll let Redith finish the sweep herself. 
in uh, the future. All right, we're going to, I guess, end the turn at this point, and then we'll do hopefully a, a fairly decent breach in the next little bit. All right, let's see what we're looking at up here. It's a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot more of nothing. And some even more of nothing. Okay, Mutanot, where be thee? There you are. You must go over here. That should take you two turns to get there, which is just ridiculous. And we're exploring with a sniper. Never a good or wise idea, but I'm fairly confident that everything is inside the ship at this point, so... Far less terrifying if you consider that. Alright, what's inside? Let's see. We have one. We have two. We have three. Alright, this is getting a little bit scary. Not terrible. Let's see if we land our grenade. Oh, I hit myself slightly. That's okay. I'm going to take a knee. And I think if I move here, I do still have a shot. Let's take that. Down he goes. And I'm going to move forward. Oh, there's another one. Ooh. Well, that's unpleasant. Alright, well, let's do this then. Oh, really? Hmm. Well. That didn't work. No. Three, four, five, six. Ah, we hit him. Well, that could be very, very not good. We'll see, though. We shall see. Gonna lob that over there and hope it's enough to take it down. It looks like it was. And I can get back behind cover, and he's the only one that's kind of ex well, I suppose all of these guys are to an extent. So you could fire past, probably. Plus, things can come out the sides. So, not my best breaching tactic, but eh, I don't know. I think it's okay. I think we'll be alright. We'll see. Okay, he ate the shield, and one additional fire, okay, 20 damage. Anybody coming from the back room? No. Alright, so that all worked out fairly good. Fairly decently. Could have went gone much, much worse. Alright, shoot him. Down he goes, which is delicious and sweet. And you have no, you have no way to heal yourself. You, you have a way to heal him. Go, go heal him. Go heal your compatriot. And you are healed. And that is a delicious and beautiful and wonderful. Everybody happy. Alright, we'll get Pete Holmes into position. That was a mistake, actually. I was hoping that was the other guy. It's fine. Alright, take a knee here. Back into burst fiery mode. And that leaves, what, readeth down this way, or up this way? Exploring the last vestiges of hiding spots and secretive places. It's not so bad. We'll end our turn. Hope I'm able to get two combats in. This one's taking a little longer, but I suppose night missions are always this way. It's just kind of the way of things, you know? With a night mission, you really don't have much say in how things play, or play out. I mean, it's, it's kind of nasty. Okay take a knee, we'll end our turn, and we're going to breach with Mutanot. And that, that's the only one, that is the only one. So walk right up into his face and kablowy. Oh, was not enough to kill him, but shot number two might be enough. Shot number two, and we said good day, sir. All right, so baby injury, no injury, and I like seeing the strength increase as well. So strength and accuracy both increased on Mutanot. Cole Hernandez didn't fire a single shot, though she walked around, carried a heavy load, and got her strength up. Redith did her job. All right, hey, I I got second second billing now. Somehow I magically shot past both Mutanot and Nicole Hernandez as the second colonel in the group. This makes absolutely no sense. Just saying. All right, so I have another strength, another accuracy, another hit point. Uh, Scooney U-Turn Singleton hit Captain, and he's doing supremely well. He got really nice stat upgrades. And he's managed to kill five ETs, along with participating in ten combat missions. 
The Atomic Potato got his fifth ET kill as well. Major Pete Holmes got some good stat upgrades, some minor injuries, minor injuries on U-turn Singleton as well. And Prep 2 survived, some decent stat upgrades to go with everything else. Alright, so that is pretty sweet. I'm murdering this with an airstrike. And I thought I clicked on it, sorry. Gimme. There we go. I'm selecting the new target, we're gonna go there. It's gonna be another night mission, more than likely. We'll see. And we get to engage again on our crash site at the southern area that we had to skip and finish because, well, things just didn't quite work right. Okay, so let's see how the new rookie squad is. Did I put them in the right order? Does not look like it. Well, could have gone better as far as order, but not so bad. Where's my shotgunner? Huh. Where's Three Cream Willie? I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, we only have seven people. What? Was he still hurt? I forgot to put him back in the... <sighs> Probably what happened. I wouldn't put it past me. I'm sure you guys figured that out in the last episode or two or three or whatever it was. Oh well. We go without our assault, which is going to make everything a lot more difficult. But hey, we're used to difficulties, right? We're used to making things tough and challenging on us. You know, I'm pretty certain that I outfitted everybody correctly, and I'm looking and no one seems to have armor. Did I do something stupid at some point? I mean, uh, it's kind of an obvious thing that I did, but I'm I'm just so confused right now. Like, they should all at least have the next armor. Ugh. All right, well, this might be one of the more challenging missions we've done. Hopefully there's not that many aliens abound. Man. Well, this was a scout ship, if I recall correctly. So maybe, maybe we're going to be able to do something here. And not suffer horribly for my uh, apparent stupidity. I, I could have sworn I spent time outfitting everybody. But maybe I got confused with my other team, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm so confused. Alright, you take a knee... You take a knee and drop your additional shield, and can you switch to your pistol? Bam! You can do all of that stuff. Like a little mini boss. Alright. We get Green Golem to move here, and then he is going to follow suit. I guess we'll wait till he stops running. There we go. And Blamo. We are set with him, him, and him. That leaves good old Nate Boru joining the group. I can't believe we have no armor on anyone. That is a huge mistake. Eh, whatever. Hopefully it doesn't play out poor. What in the heck is she shooting at? Oh, really? How does that happen? I'm so confused right now. Oh, he was shooting at that guy. All right. But how did he shoot past the shield? There's no possible traje traje trajectory that that would actually work at. I don't know, man. Oh, and he's suppressed, too. This is garbage. I thought there was three. I'm like, really? There's three aliens now? What is this? 41% chance. Oh, we actually hit that. What? Downside. I don't think I should have moved him. Hmm. Alright. What if I move there? Nope. There's no way. Alright. Well, I'm going to do this then. Open a door, and then maybe next time I can step out and actually do something. Ugh. I really hope I don't lose anyone. I'm so I'm going to be so bummed out if I lose somebody on this mission. Ugh. Because it's going to be 100% my fault, though I still swear I did that right. Whatever. I've made mistakes before. I'm sure I'll do it plenty more times. <sighs> Alright, we got Nerd Fury as our frontline person, I guess. The only one with decent armor. So she's going to kind of go out by herself, which is a terrible idea, too. Just, just keep that in mind. It is not good, and I guess we'll follow it up with uh, Jordan Robinson in behind with a uh, sniper 
with bolt action sniper rifle ability. Or, bolt, well, I guess you can't say bolt action sniper rifle action ability. Doesn't really work. There's too many actions involved. We like to keep things simplistic if we can. Well, stuff is definitely happening. Happening. They fell back. How did he get suppressed through a wall? Well, the shield is gone, so that makes things even more challenging. But he missed a second shot. Oh, well, good for you getting on the second floor. Alright. Oh, don't, don't, no, really? And he's suppressed, so he can't do anything. He doesn't have a shield anymore, which basically means we're going to send him away to go get another shield. But not quite yet. I'm also going to, come on, get into position. I don't suppose he can lob a grenade. Oh, wait, there's three of them there. That's kind of nasty. All right. Oh, I have a 12% shot. Oh, I there we go. I finally hit that long shot that I never hit. All right, well, I'm going to have him stand back up. This guy is in a really bad spot. If he dies, he dies, whatever. Again, I'm not super happy with how this is all going down. But, eh, could be worse, I suppose. It usually can be worse than it is. So hopefully, everything pans out on this side for me. And eventually we get close enough to actually do something without dying. A horrible, horrible death. Alright, I think we're going to end our turn and cross our fingers. Oh gosh, there's four aliens over here. Oh my gosh. This is just so bad. Alright. And they're, they're doing some pretty decent movement too around the map. Oh gosh. I think he shot upstairs. That was interesting. I'm trying to get that civilian in the window. You know, the one with the waggly tail. No, no. Okay, sorry. 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 Oh, come on, MDB. You've been around comp. Really? Ugh. Buddy? Oh, and you can't... Mm -hmm. Getting upset. Oh, come on, that wasn't enough to kill anyone either? Where exactly is the shields? Oh, we're going to go after that one. We'll bring it to one of the other people. Oh, is that the other shield right there? And please hit! Victory! Well, we're not in a good spot right now at all. See if I can get into a position where I can actually see the alien going around that corner. Maybe take it out with uh... a with a sniper shot. Oh no! I didn't mean to. I misclicked. Uh, please hit. Yes. Okay, so that worked out a little better than it should have. Tell you, man, things are just rough all around. It's okay, though. It's okay. Oh, gosh. I don't suppose. Of course not. Well, take a knee. And let us hope. Can you, you can't do anything. Oh, gosh. Yep. Oh, he lived. Sweet. It's that high health that you have, buddy. Where you guys going? Where you going now, huh? huh? Where you going? Where you running to? Alright, well... Please just don't, like, freak out and run away. Thank you. Alright, get in here. Heal yourself. Ugh, I tell you, every time I play with a rookie squad, they just disappoint me. Even now that I have some veterans mixed in with them. That's just horribly disappointing. 
Alright, well, let's see if we can murder this guy in the face. Nope, totally missed every single shot because we're awesome. Oh boy. Really? Okay. DB's gonna head back this way to get his shield. And there we go. And you should be fine now, buddy. You have a shield again. And you're not dying, probably. And we'll go over here. We'll provide cover this way. You can come back up this way and get your stupid weapon next turn. And... I suppose I can move over here. Maybe actually get a shot the next turn. We'll see. Okay, so everybody has done something. We end our turn and hope. I figured he's gonna shoot at him. I was just hoping that he's not gonna do it. Okay. That's weird. Jordan Robinson, clearly a man, just made a girl sound. That's, uh. whatever. I suppose if I got shot, I would probably make some girl sounds too. I'm just saying. That is a definite possibility. Oh boy, the aliens are missing. There he is. Can I? Of course not. I don't like cover for aliens. It makes my life so much more difficult than it should be. Alright. Do we have any aliens laying around? We do. And what do we need for this to work? 60 TUs. I have 62. I cannot do it. It's impossible. Well, that sucks. Uh, Alright. I guess I do that. MTB, can you lob a grenade and actually hit something, my friend? Do it! Be a man. Be a hero. Sweet. Good job. Alright. To move over here. Oh, there's still two aliens. Great. Things are fun. Things are fun. Let's throw a heal. It's fine. Move that back. Grab this. Equip it. Move you up. I take a knee of this direction and I'm gonna try yeah it's not gonna happen I like that better we're gonna move that direction maybe it'll work out and if possible I'm gonna go hide right in here face this way and do I have a health kit I do next turn I will heal up and we're going to oh I guess I could do something And hiya! And goodbye! Yeah, deal with it. You've just been told, son. What? Come on, son. Alright, let's get that. Everything's good. Everybody's happy. Alright, let's hope this pans out. So this episode will be slightly longer, which I guess is good because the last couple episodes... Oh, please don't die. Oh. Thank goodness. Well, thank golly. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Taking too long, aliens. Do you know I'm on a time time restraint, a time crunch here? Oh gosh, that would have been bad. Really? How is it you guys are xenonauts? You managed to suppress him. Well, I guess that's a moral victory. Okay, point blank. Shot, and that's it. Okay, and we're going to run over, oh, we can't make it all the way, well we're going to try to make it all the way to there at least, oh gosh I forgot I was going to heal him, that may have been a terrible mistake, um, how much do I need to gas, 
42. Mm. That is unpleasant. Well, let's move here. It's fine. Still move here. What if I guess that... Eh, something. Okay, if he doesn't get seen and shot and killed, I should be looking pretty darn good. But, I think the odds of that happening are pretty slim. Alright. Well, we'll do what we do. We'll see what happens. Here's hoping things work out. I'm going to try to use MDB as a delicious target. Hopefully he doesn't pass out. He probably will in the next turn, so I'm okay with that if he does. But as long as it's not this turn and he actually gets shot, he gets, you know, the alien shoots at him, that would be swell. That's right, I said swell. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, oh, the aliens got a shot at me. That's unfortunate. I can't do anything, huh? All right, end in the turn in a second. All right, well, this is definitely messy. Not my best work. I'm going to end the turn and really hope that nobody dies. With only one remaining alien. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Some scary, scary stuff. Okay, so, first things first. Josie with the death wish. Well, let's try to keep you from dying, if at all humanly possible. There we go. You have so much health, you're a hero. Alright, then you're going to run away. Ooh. Could be a problem. Alright, and it looks like, of course, we have absolutely no possible way to defend against this. MDB is still alive, and that is mildly impressive in and of itself. There we go. I'm going to attempt... Oh, I guess I'm going to throw one of these. Breathe in the gas. Sweet. Alright. So at this point we can now just hopefully rove toward the ship, breach it, survive, and another scary scary victory with a rookie squad. Mostly due to my own inability to equip anybody with the right equipment. So that's the first thing I'm going to do when I actually get back with the rookie squad, assuming there is a rookie squad to get back with, is going to be full equipment upgrades for them, if possible. Um, after the dropship is built, I'm going to build some buzzard armor. Once the buzzard armor is built, I'm going to start doing some more uh, wolf armor, I think. And start sending some stuff over to the other squad. I'd like to get some laser weapons, too. In fact, I'm almost leaning toward the laser weapons first. I don't know. Maybe I should build plasma weapons and then send the laser weapon. I, I don't know. There's options. There's definitely some options. I don't have the the end-all be-all plan done just yet, so keep that in mind. Um, speaking of which... Hmm... Hmm... Why don't I go over here and grab that as a weapon? That just seems like a good idea, so let's do that. We'll get MDB down here to help with the breach, because this is definitely a... Oh, gosh. Why would he pass that way? Why would he... Well, there you go. Good job, MDB. You saw Redith got promotions quicker than anyone else by passing out all the way through every single play. So you figured you'd try it. I understand. I can't say I like it that much, and it doesn't irritate me. That would be a lie, but I understand. I see where you're coming from. I get it. Not happy about it, but I get it. Alright, well, let's do it this way. Okay, we'll continue to move everyone in. I can't believe Three Cream Willy didn't make the cut, didn't make the move here. That's a little redonkulous, but it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever, you know? We do what we do. Hey, Boru, my friend, you need to get down here. You have work to do. In fact, you're going to go over here and grab the, the alien weapon as well. I'm going to take a peek. And there is indeed an alien there. We're going to lob this. 
on ourselves and pass out because why not? Yep, that just happened. Whatever. Critically failed grenade. At least it wasn't an explodey grenade. Though I could have dodged that. I could have gotten out of that way. That way. Eh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not really fine. End our turn. At least we knock something out. Which, of course, it's good, but not great, considering all things here. I'm leaning towards stealing her equipment, too. I don't know if I can do that. I think I, it's only the weapons that drop. And... Oh, did I do that with Nate Boru already? Oh, I thought I did that with someone else. My bad. Well... Green Golem up to the front lines. MDB. What happened to him? Oh, yeah, he passed out. He's like, you know what? Sleep time. I do not miss nappy time. Down he went. All right, we wait for the gas to dissipate a little bit. Then we go forward. I'm sure there's going to be at least one more alien on the right and a few in the back room. We'll see. Hopefully it all pans out. There's no way to be certain. And we, again, are not in the greatest positions at this point. I'm not super thrilled with how this has pan panned out at all. I'm pretty, pretty concerned, actually. Alright, let's move. No, not you. What are you... Whatever. You. You move there. Alright, we'll end the turn. See what happens. Probably a lot of nothing. So not the most exciting breach so far. Considering, uh... <laughs> happened. But, you know... It is what it is. I'm going to actually equip you with that. And when we're finally able to get there, I'm going to try the heal revive method. Oh! Oh! What? Green Golem doing work. He's like, uh-uh. We've had enough bad stuff happening. I am not going to let this happen. Poo! Poo! Oh, perfect! Perfect! Look at that. Alright, so Nate Boru has now been on 30 combat missions. Jordan Robinson has killed 20 ETs in combat, which is sweet, sweet, nice. MDB, eh. <laughs> he didn't get much. He got some bravery and some accuracy. Josie got some accuracy some to use. Hurt really bad for a very long period of time. It's okay. And we're going to make sure that we can equip them correctly for the future. But that's pretty much going to do it this time, guys. I know. One pretty decent but relatively long night mission, and then... That whole fiasco with the under-armored, under-geared, just poorly planned out attack with the rookie squad yet again seems to be my bane. Anytime I send rookies into danger, well, really, really bad stuff seems to happen. But that's going to do it for now. I will catch you guys in the very next episode, and that will be tomorrow. So until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.